just want to talk about um, negative people, anger, and dealing with situations. Um, this last couple of days have been some of those cropped up, nothing major, but I can see where a lot of the anger is coming from. Um, there was a conversation where we'd had a discussion about something and then somebody's basically flown out off the handle over something but then even if you look through the Facebook profile you can see things like complaining over um, shopping bags and random small stuff the fact is this stuff doesn't matter and yet I find a lot of people get angry over things um, which normally have a relevance to something else uh, for example you might get somebody that's had a bad day. They, you know, they got up late for work, missed their train, got caught in the rain. And the day's just gone wrong totally. They get home, and they take it out on their kids. You know, they're angry. Um, they've gone for a soft target, and that happens a lot with stuff. Um, it's a bit like when you call a call center. You just want to get something solved because um, you haven't got all day, you've got other stuff going on. You've had problems like, for example, it's in your lunch break, so you've got to eat lunch and you know when you call them and they've got you in a queue for half an hour, you're wasting your lunch time and getting irritated. Fact is, you knew you weren't going to fit that call into the lunch time, so shouldn't have bothered, or so shouldn't have tried. Um, but also, from the get off, you are already irritated, which makes you angry on the phone. Um, now, living in the Philippines, you become aware of how company owners cut themselves off from sales, um, of customer returns, of customer complaints, because they tell staff, you don't give them nothing back, don't do this, don't do that. And then they shove the staff out there and they hide. Or, you know, the owners do not engage with customers. Um, in the West, you may think, well, that doesn't work. Well, it does actually, unfortunately. It's why um, people buy cheap goods. Because although you may have the best customer service at, um, say, a, a clothing store, ultimately the majority of people go in price they don't go even go in quality they go in price um, which ends up that these crappy stores end up bankrupting the good quality stuff or buying them out it's a bit like Fiat you know they don't produce great cars but how many uh, car companies do they own because they produce the cheap nonsense that people buy and then at the same time they can invest in buying other companies up it's just the way the market is so when you get on those phones be aware you ain't gonna get a good result out of it or you're gonna be waiting an hour because at the end of the day that is how these calls go it doesn't mean you have to stick with them I mean what I do um, was an example recently uh, for example I had a rather expensive shirt and when it arrived, because uh, I ordered it online for the first time, I normally do it in store. Um, but there was a watermark on the um, chest area. Um, I just emailed them and said, look, I'm not happy with the fact that this shirt has cost X and it's shop soiled. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't expect this from your company because I buy from you because of the quality. Um, didn't ask them for a refund, didn't start arguing with them, shouting, swearing or anything else. Basically just went for, I expect better. And what happens, they asked me if I wanted to go in and return it, but I was flying out of Spain. Um, so instead they've sent me a £10 voucher, so thank you, you know, for uh, dealing with it. Because the shirt just needed washing, but my whole point was, I shouldn't have had a stain on a brand new shirt. Um, and I had a better result. Now, do you think I would have got the same result if I shouted and swear, swore at them? I don't think so. Um, 
and that's part of it it's how you deal with people and online you get a lot of these angry people but a lot of the anger has come from elsewhere they've had a bad day they've had um, I know people with financial problems for example it sits in the back of their mind they, they're uneasy when they're sleeping they're uneasy um, throughout the day they're worried about bailiffs knocking the door so they're causing stress to themselves at the same time they take it out on everything else they will still go and buy because buying means you don't have to deal with your problems you feel better for five minutes but then you're thinking I shouldn't have bought that and um, it's the old bury the head in the sand scenario where everyone else is the gets the blame but the person causing it ignores it up to a point um, the point being when the bank repossesses everything or they just realize one day they can't keep on living like this so that's how I look at people myself I look at the fact there's problems in the background somewhere somebody could be going through a divorce somebody may have somebody has got cancer somebody's got other problems going on so when somebody give, goes at you aggressively repel it in a uh, neutral way um, I mean on, on things like YouTube I get some weird messages sometimes um, some of them you don't even know what they're talking about some are they've missed the point of a video and rant and quite simply the, those messages just get deleted because I'll engage with anybody with a bit of common sense I can engage with somebody that says well I don't agree with your opinion but and actually explains it but when people rant it's the delete button because the thing with me is I don't need negative people and most people don't need negative people they may be stuck with them sometimes at work or in the type of job you're doing or uh, maybe a relative even but the fact is you can limit the amount of negativity around you um, I enjoy sharing stuff on YouTube which is why I do it um, there's people having positive out outputs from watching my videos which is what it's all about you know I'm happy that people have found them useful you know well literally happy <laughs> um, but the, the fact is you need to look at the negativity in your life is some of it getting you down is some of it um, you can cut out are you causing negativity is there something that's bugging you that you need to fix um, I mean, the funniest, funniest one uh, today was somebody says I act as if I'm Mr. Perfect. At no point have I said I'm perfect. You know, all I'm talking about is the stuff I do. It doesn't mean I have the answer to everything. But I'll be honest with you, I'm having a better life than a lot of other people out there. Um, and it's not come from luck. It's come from hard work. It's come from effort. It comes from calculated uh, risks, and that all that comes from putting the effort in. And somebody turns around and says, "Oh well, you'll miss the point." Blah blah blah. You've already missed the point. They haven't even looked at what I'm talking about. Um, like this, this is cancelling negativity in your life, because if you've got less negativity affecting you, be it that you've got money stresses, or be it that you're boss is a nightmare or whatever it is if you look to limit it then you will find life is much easier you'll find you're happier you're less stressed you enjoy life more you get you, you stop worrying about things and start looking at the positive aspects of life um, I know recently my work is irritating me but at the same time I'm like okay finish your college course you can put up with this for now because I don't see it as a long-term problem because I don't plan on being in this situation long term so that may have some negativity affecting it affecting me but at the same time I'm managing it with the fact is 
don't see this as something that's going to be your be all and end all for the next 10 15 years because it's not the reality is i'll go back to contracting um and that's that's the way to do it you know look at if you've got a boss you don't like whatever use it as a positive um angle where you're going okay what can i do to get out of this situation do i need to change my job do i need to re-educate myself or better educate myself to actually work my way around my boss um do i need to sidestep do i you know i'm in um doing administration do i do i want to get a job where in the same company and transfer out because I look at these options when it, when I'm not happy where I am at the moment, I look at the alternatives. I do asset management at the moment and asset integrity and asset integrity frameworks and all this stuff. But I could actually go, okay, I can't get up this way, but I could do project management. Um, I could do data analysis. Different divisions, same company. There is always a way to move things forward. Um, it's all about investing in yourself and seeing what positive things and negative things you've got and making the positive changes to drive things forward. Okay, thanks for watching.